January kicked off with a real bang as we learned the fate of Matthew Morris, the nephew of Merced County's District Attorney Larry Morris. Apparently, Matthew Morris went out in a toga with a 35-inch knife and, while drunk, knifed a guy in the parking lot of Save Mart. This was the final chapter to this story, and everyone felt bad that the DA's nephew had joined such a bright light on such a public yet dysfunctional family. Then, within the same month, we learned a new name, Kimberly Serzaki. Now, this fine upstanding Merced County resident who is working as the CFO at Central Valley Processing Corps and is the wife of Merced County Sheriff's Department Sergeant Steve Serzaki. Now, get this. She apparently embezzled $832,000 from her job and her husband never even knew about it. He never realized that he and his wife were living beyond their own financial means for over a year. Hmm, you think? 18-year-old Dylan Morris, who had become the topic for debate most of 2009 for his actions while he was drunk and stoned. Being the son of District Attorney Larry Morris has its perks as displayed when Dylan's best friend Ryan Spitzer was arrested while driving drunk. Larry Morris had the charges reduced for his son's friend and Ryan just needed to complete a few DUI classes. During the day of February 13th, Dylan drove his friend Ryan to one of those very DUI classes. Afterward, they went to a party. At approximately 2 a.m., they stopped at a Safeway, bought some beer with a fake ID, and went racing through town at 70 miles per hour until... Alexander Peter Ruiz was born in 1987 in Fox Lake, Illinois and was raised in Calistoga by his mother, Lydia, and father, Michael. He had one brother, Jordan, 18. At Calistoga High, he was about six months away from achieving a bachelor's degree in sound engineering at Berkeley Art School. Alexander Peter Ruiz was pronounced dead at the scene on February 14th, 2009. After mounting an aggressive Facebook campaign and sending 900 handwritten Valentines to the White House, the University of California Merced announced this month that Michelle Obama will make the first ever UC commencement speech on May 16, 2009. I told her how meaningful this was for San Joaquin Valley and the students of Merced, said one student. This is an underserved region and people need hope. <laughs> 